I am typically a fairly motivated person. I seem to have lost my drive during the pandemic and especially during the holidays. How can I get it back? Wow, that's a, for a lot of people, that's the case. I know that coming into the new year to kind of get things going for many people was sort of like, no, I think I'd rather you know, keep on sleeping a little bit later or do things in a way that feel more relaxed. That is perfectly fine. Again, we're going to transcend time and space here a little bit by moving into the miraculous. And the miraculous perspective here, as you said, I'm typically a fairly motivated person. I seem to have lost my drive during the pandemic and especially during the holidays. It depends on what typically drives you. Now, notice that there can be two people driving here and they're both within you. You have to make a choice between which one. Are you being driven by unconscious thoughts and behaviors? So that makes you feel like you're doing a lot, but maybe you're not really aligned with what brings you the most fulfillment or inner peace. Or, and in that case, are you like your hands are gripping the wheel and you're really driving life forcefully. Just notice that that's exhausting and it's not at any time advantageous for a happy life, but especially during a pandemic or during a time where you just wanna be good and kind to yourself. The other voice that could be driving things is the voice of your own best interest. When you're listening to this, it feels like a deeper, more loving and more centered being. This one objectively observes you throughout life. And sometimes you might be doing things that are a little bit, maybe not even peaceful, but it doesn't judge you. It just watches and says, hmm, why are you doing that? Wonder why? And, and when you ask yourself why, this is one of the biggest questions that will lead you to enlightenment or to awareness or to awakening. Why? Just let yourself see why. What is driving? Let yourself notice why do you want to be motivated again? If it feels really good to be connected and to be engaged with life, that's great. That's wonderful. Then, then you're really moving into life in a way that's driven by the voice of your own best interest. But if you're a person who doesn't feel like you're good enough or worth anything, unless you're really moving and shaking in the world, then pay attention to that because you want to come from the place of fullness into any activity you're engaging with now. It's going to be driven by the voice of your own best interests. It's going to tell you where to go, what to do, what to say, and to whom in a way that keeps you aligned with peace and ease and health and well-being. So just watch that. If you're typically a very highly motivated person, that's not going to go anywhere as long as you're connected to a spirited part of you that wants to put that out into the world and be engaged in a way that feels loved and loving. But if you're typically driven because you're being driven by fear or that voice of disconnect and separation, then this is the perfect time to step back, relax, and let yourself align with this new way of being where you're connected from the inside and move into life, letting the voice of your own best interest lead the way. And then you're gonna engage with all kinds of fun and interesting other people because the voice of your own best interest is gonna show you where all the action is that's really soulfully satisfying for you. <laughs>